Hannah, are you okay? Still can't sleep. I'm fine. Can I do anything to help you? Just go back to sleep. I'm gonna go get a glass of wine. I can keep you company. You have work in the morning. Are you sure you don't want me to? I'll be right back. Just sleep. seen one patient in the last two hours. Complicated case. I'm a night owl. Wilson's an early bird. We're different species. Move him into his own cage. Who'll clean the droppings from mine? 25-year-old female with sleep issues. I'm guessing she's, what's the medical term? Upset. 25-year-old females are usually completely rational. They're rocks, really. Uh. My theory seems to be supported by the fact that she swallowed a bottle of sleeping pills. Get her a shrink. I need some shut eye. She's a little bit more than upset. She hasn't slept in 10 days. She's lying. Without REM sleep, your neurons start regenerating. The brain shuts down lobe by lobe. She's been insane after five days, dead by 10. Give me a little credit. I know what gets you off. She took the pills to sleep, not to kill herself. Clever alibi. They didn't work. She stayed awake, even though she downed the whole bottle. And the longest anyone's ever survived without sleep is 11 days, which gives you about 22 hours. You stole my article. I wouldn't do that. I wrote up the case where we induced hypothermic cardiac arrest in the terminal cancer girl. I wrote my own. I didn't steal yours. You knew I was writing one. You gave me notes. Got a case. It can wait. You two finish. Five bucks if someone loses an eye. Fine. You're only putting out the inevitable. 25-year-old female hasn't slept for 10 days. I assume the ER tried giving her some sedatives. We should up the dosage. Sedation isn't the same as sleep. Thanks for your insight. For someone who hasn't slept in 10 days, sedation is a great start. Sleep is an active process. Reboost the system, restores the brain. Sedatives don't... The brain is being stressed. We need to relieve that. You've had my article on your desk for the last four months. I'm a very slow reader. No fever, no white count means no infection. Schizophrenia? No delusions. You read his. Signed it. Didn't read it. Aside from the sleeping pills, talk screen was clean. No cocaine, methamphetamines, or diet pills. Any medications she's had recently are steroids for poison ivy and ibuprofen for a niche hurt skin. Nothing that would cause sleep disturbances. When did you get his article? Uh, like three weeks ago. Let's go back to the beginning. How far back? Genesis. God said, let there be light. Sleep is initially controlled by external light cues. And if her brain can't interpret those cues? Optic nerve disease. I'm sensing another article. I'll go run the tests. I'm injecting a dye, which will allow us to take a look at your retina and your optic nerve. Everything's kind of blurry. Normal, because of the dye. It's going to be that way the next few hours. Need a hand? No. <laughs> We're never gonna work together again? Just don't see the need to make you feel better by forgiving you. I wasn't asking for forgiveness. I was asking if needed help. It's unprofessional to be talking about this in front of the patient. Maybe that doesn't matter to you, but... It doesn't matter. She's not listening. She's asleep. Normal stage one brain is. She's better? Still blurry. You fell asleep. No, I didn't. Negative for optic nerve disease. But she sleeps. If 
for like 10 seconds, maximum one minute. We also check the ocular pressure. It's normal. And she doesn't know she sleeps. Brain is often unaware of stage one sleep. CT showed no tumors, no clots, no seizure disorder. So she sleeps, she just can't stay asleep. You going somewhere with this? You know what keeps me awake at night? Monsters in the closet. <laughs> There's no monster in the closet. We looked. Well, certainly not showing up on the scans. Where's Cameron? She felt I could deliver the news on my own. Oh, this is going to work out great. Come on. If you two guys can't play nice together, I'm taking away your toys. I don't care whose fault this is. If you had Especially, I don't care if it was my fault. Whatever this woman has, it's not showing up on our tests, which means she's sick. Just not sick enough for us to see it. You want us to make her sicker? Yes. I want to stress her body, specifically her brain. Keep her awake. Depriving her of even the few minutes of sleep she does have, it's torture. So is cutting people with knives. She can totally get away with that if you have a doctor coat on. House, those few seconds of sleep are maybe the only reason she's still alive. The more symptoms we can force out of her, the more tests we can do. The more tests we do, the more information we get, the quicker we make a diagnosis. See how much more fun it is when you guys get along? You two take the first four hours. Fell asleep. No, I didn't. Your brain doesn't remember. It was just a few seconds. Is this really necessary? The sooner we find out what's wrong, the sooner she can get a real night's rest. Hannah? 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 Ow! What did you do that for? You fell asleep again. No, I didn't. We're sorry. But we have to do this. You don't have to be cruel. You know what happens when you're nice. Nothing. That's how you define nice, not stealing. Doctors? Did you fall asleep again? 